ABC 7 meteorologist Katie Frazier continues our complete team coverage. She joins us live as she continues to track these storms. Katie. Hey, good afternoon, Stephanie. Good afternoon to all of you at home. Happy Friday out there to you. Now, if you didn't know, you should probably know that it's going to get rainy over the next several hours. So you definitely want to stay up to date to all of the latest weather news. And we at ABC 7 will definitely be there to help you get through these storms over the next several days. But something you may not know is I actually used to live in one of the rainiest cities in the entire country, Mobile, Alabama, an average of 66 inches of rain per year. So I actually have some good tips on how I could recommend you to stay dry during the next couple days. So the first one, you might be like, what? What are you talking about, Katie? I actually recommend wearing open toe shoes. And the reason why is if you're walking around outside, your feet are going to get wet regardless. But when you head back inside, they'll dry and it'll be great. Now, if you do live in a flood prone area, you might want to invest in some rain boots, but I personally have never worn them. But of course, it all depends on where you live. The next thing I actually would recommend are some sunglasses. And again, you might be like, Katie, if it's rainy outside, if it's cloudy, why do you need sunglasses? Well, if you're walking around outside and the rain is hitting you, your eyes are going to be protected. So you don't have to worry about the rain getting in your eyes. The last thing, probably the most important thing is invest in a long rain jacket, something that could cover your shorts as well. So if you have to walk around outside, do anything outside, your clothes will stay dry. The only thing that'll get wet is your skin. And then when you go back inside, you'll be dry again. So those are my tips on how you could stay dry. Now, of course, last thing, if you see a flooded roadway, do not drive into it. And once again, please stay up to date with all of the weather news. If you are under a flash flood warning, that means flooding is occurring in your location. But for now, reporting from Rim Road, Katie Frazier, ABC7.